In this lesson, I'll show you how to assign formal charges to atoms in molecules. The question reads, assign formal charges to each atom in the resonance forms of the cyanate ion, represented as OCN negative. Which resonance form is likely to contribute most to the correct structure of OCN negative? To organize my work here, I want to begin by creating a table. And in our table, I'll be analyzing the number of valence electrons, the number of lone pair electrons, and half the number of bonding electrons. In case that's confusing to you, this is what your table should look like. So in our first row, we'll have the number of valence. In our second row, we'll have the number of lone electrons, lone pair electrons. And our last row will be half the number of bonding electrons. So beginning with A, the resonance structure here, the number of valence electrons for oxygen is six for carbon is 4, and for nitrogen is 5. Remember that these numbers can be obtained just by locating where the atoms are on the periodic table. Because this is in the sixth column, it has 6, that is in the fourth column, it has 4, and that is in the fifth, it has 5. And of course, the same can be said for B and C. Next, we'll look at the number of lone pair electrons. So for oxygen, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll write that as negative 6. Over here, there are no lone pairs because everything is being shared. And over here, we only have two, so negative two. For this structure, negative four. This one is zero again, and that is negative four, negative two, zero, and negative six. Lastly, we'll analyze half the number of bonding electrons. So over here, we have one bond between oxygen and carbon. Carbon has one, two, three, four. Nitrogen has three. And we'll represent these as negative half of the bonding electrons. For this structure, we have two with oxygen and carbon. So negative two, negative four, and negative two. The negative four comes from one, two, three, four. Oxygen and carbon here share three. So negative three, once again, negative four, and negative one. What we will do at this point is add up these numbers. So we'll add up each column. We'll find its sum. 6 minus 6 is 0. Minus 1 is negative 1. That's 0. Summing these up, you get 0 as well. 0 here, 0 here, and negative 1 here. Positive 1 when you add these three numbers. I'll just put a plus. 0 and negative 2 here. The sum of all formal charges for each structure is negative 1, as you can see on the resonance structure, as it should be for a negative 1 ion. Structures A and B have the least amount of formal charge and therefore preferable over structure C. On the contrary, structure A is preferable to structure B because it has the negative formal charge on the most electronegative atom, which is oxygen. Thus, we expect structure A to make the biggest contribution to the resonance form of the cyanate ion. So this is what you're most likely to see in nature. Now, if you'd like to see the solutions to questions two and three, make sure you watch part two of this series, and we hope to see you soon.